We're gonna be flying this perfect Beach Baron 55. Safely delivered. Bird is at its home. Hi everyone, I'm Konstantin Fetchenko with Aviation Sales International. We're gonna be flying this perfect Beach Baron 55 tomorrow morning to United Kingdom. The aeroplane is fully fueled and serviced. The only one thing it needs is to have wheel tires checked and obviously when you look at one of the tires you can see it needs some air inside this happens you have to always look after your airplane it's the same as with your car we have pretty several airplanes for sale here in our air park come and have a test flight and choose what you want to buy that's a very interesting tool. This is to make pressure and this is to release pressure. Good morning everyone. As I said yesterday, we are flying today with Philip and he's with us with Aviation Sales. Our route is via Lille to United Kingdom, Storgate. And uh, Philip is picking up Musketeer, a uh, Beechcraft Musketeer, which will come back to uh, Neustadt. That's about it. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's roll. Simplified checklist here. It's my first time in the aeroplane yesterday. I had the chance to have a seat and quickly just look at it. But what I'm missing is the master switch. I see the pito heat, prop anti ice, beacon lights, taxi landing lights, cold flaps open, closed. It works like this. Fuel pump, then we go here. Alternators are here. Uh, left, right. Oh, okay. So this is the how magnetos work. Yeah, yeah. cool. <laughs> What about master switch? It has, should have master switch. Fuel quantity and where does it show fuel quantity? Fuel quantity shows here. Okay, this is avionics switch, avionics master, flaps, landing gear. Not sure about fuel pump on departure if you need it. Performance, normal procedures, uh, airspeed starting after taxi before takeoff, takeoff, 410, 410. Takeoff, takeoff power, full throttle, minimum takeoff oil temperature 75 Fahrenheit. Temperature to be checked. Temperature be we got checked there. Oh. 75, yeah, is the minimum. Landing gear retract, recommended speed landing gear retract. Airspeed established and climb, maximum performance climb, cruise climb we will set, we don't need maximum performance. 122 knots. Uh, let me see, knots is the inner, 122, so just above the white line. And this is the 25 inches and 2500 cruise. Okay, so basically, but take off without flaps, right? It looks like. So before takeoff, seat belts, parking brakes set, fuel boost pumps off. You see, that's mm. important because you can, can like stop the engine <laughs> if you have them on, really. I had the situation on uh, Cessna 421 when you have them running and the engine starts like really run rough. Okay, that's good to know. Instruments, fuel selector valves, main the tanks. tanks. We got them on the main already. Main tanks, okay. Maybe we start on the outer tanks, on the auxiliary to check them. Yeah. And then that's when we taxi, idea. Before taxi, we switch to main to realize if everything is working correctly. Propeller, before takeoff, 2200 RPM. When exercising the propeller, see the given and range, do not move control lever past the tent. Landing gear indication is what? Here, down. 
There are no three green lights on this airplane. Only this one. one light, one down light, and the position is indicated over here. Very unusual. You can be lost when you are airborne. You think like, what? Where is my gear? What happens with the gear? But okay, let's do then before engine start check. Mm -hmm. Battery. The E4 Four. key. Okay, so seats, position lock, and seat belts. Seat backs upright. Seat belts. Yeah. Okay. Go. Good enough. Okay. Yeah. Seat belts are fastened. Parking brake set. Yeah, I use my feet. Okay. Yeah. All of the avionics off. Avionics is off. We have only one switch. Oxygen. Oxygen not required. Landing gear handle. Landing gear handle is down and showing green. Cow flap switches down. Open. Check open. Okay. Fuel selector valves. Fuel selector valves. We start with auxiliary and then we, we switch on main before takeoff. Yeah, and switch to main. All circuit breakers, switches, and equipment controls. Circuit breakers on and equipment all off. Okay, battery switch. Battery switch is on. Yeah, perfect. Uh, fuel quantity indicators. <laughs> uh, fuel quantity indicators show full. Landing gear position lights is checked green. Okay, then we are already at the starting checklist. Perfect. Whenever you're ready. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Throttle position approximately half, half an inch, inch. open. Uh -huh. Propeller control, full low pitch, forward. high RPM. Mixture control, full rich. Full rich. Fuel boost pump, high. Fuel boost left high. Okay, and okay, then, and then fuel, fuel flow. And you just started. Checked. Perfect. With fuel, uh, now fuel boost off. Until pressure Stabilize stabilizes, then off. off. Okay, we got okay. it. And then magneto starts, which magneto starts. Magneto starts, so left. Clear, prop. So start in left, ready? Ready. Both and start. Landing lights go on, so boost pump not required. Okay, ready? Ready. Taking off. Done. Wind slightly from the right. Yeah. Air speed is alive. Sixty-five, eighty, and rolling. Positive rate. Gear up goes now. And I start left turn before this village. Perfect. And now I just manifold 25 for the climb. Speed is good. Ah, okay. Speed check. Flaps go up. Flaps oh, yeah. up. Setting 25 on manifold here and on RPM. Let's also set like 25. Okay, that should be Langen, I guess. Uh, yeah, it should be. Langen information, good. November 55, Bravo November. November 55, Bravo November, hello. November 55, Bravo November, airborne uh, Neustadt, climbing 8,500 feet and uh, request clearance to enter control airspace on, on the route to point Aratim, Romeo Alpha, Tanga, India, Mike. November 55, Bravo November, confirm your departure, Aerodrome, Echo Delta, Quebec, November to Lima, Fox, South, Quebec, Quebec, just departed at 2,900 feet. I confirm both, November 55, Bravo November. And you want to climb up to which flight level? Uh, level 9 or, uh, 9 or 5, November, Bravo November. So for the time you can climb up to flight level 75 without restriction. Later on up to flight level 9 or 5, no problem. I'll call you as soon as you can climb higher. I uh, copy it, we are climbing level 75 and uh, we'll call you if reaching before we clear to higher. November, Bravo November, thank you. Okay, we are we're reaching cruising altitude level 9 or 5 and it's time for this magic paper it has cruising RPM and uh, setting but it makes sense as Philip says to check with uh, POH so I want to set 22,100 economy cruise 20 here and 2,100 on RPM and linear mixture 
at 45 percent. Hey, it feels good, I think. Yeah. Awesome. The airspeed we have is indicated 150 knots, which is like very good. Quite efficient aeroplane. Very. We are quite high and it's getting cold. Can you have control for a sec? I got the control. Your yeah. control. I need to find where is the switch. Put cabin air down. Cabin heat. Pull cabin air off. Pull cabin air. Pull cabin air. Pull off. It's very important to pull the right things here. Okay, cabin air. It's still blowing, yeah? But now, no, it's got a little less, bit better. Less, yeah? Okay. Yeah. So that was the right thing to pull. Cabin heat we don't need, defrost we don't need, pilot air pull increase. Aha, uh -huh, this is to increase, let's check that one. No, I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work that easy. How oh, do you like the plane? I love it, it's so stable. Very it's fast. Simple. It uh, it just feels good. Nice plane. Very powerful. If you want such an aeroplane, write Constantin at AviationSalesInternational.com. There we go. We are almost one hour in flight and I think about changing fuel tanks. Uh, one simple calculation which we can do is that we have 37 gallons in the main tank. 37 gallons and here uh, is the same. 37 gallons. 37 gallons is about 100 liters. 100 liters in one tank gives us almost two hours of flying. And looking at the fuel gauge, the right looks a bit more correct than the left one. And initially the left one was full and the right one was like somewhere in between. So almost one hour. Then we changed to our t outer tanks, auxiliary tanks, which have 31 US gallons. And I'm also thinking if I need to refuel when I'm in Lille, I think I do need. It's going to be another two hour flight, so four hours in total and we have two hours on the inner tank and we don't have two hours on the outer tank, plus we need to have some reserve. Also it gets cold and one more hour of flying in these conditions will be cold. It will be, yeah. Uh, I usually I don't like to use this, uh, this uh, heaters because they are external, they are not from the engine and you don't know how it was serviced, how it works, but we need to use it, yeah, it's getting cold, so cabin air, we need to switch it on to have cabin heat pull increase, okay, we do the defrost then. I might be wrong, maybe it takes from the engine, let's check that, because it doesn't have the heater switch, the, the separate heater switch, it should be switch on, switch off. Let's see the manual. We go to system section, and we look through heating and ventilation system, cabin heating, 728, 727, 728, cabin heating, combustion heater, yeah, it's combustion heater. So it is combustion heater, but there should be a switch then. Or how do you switch it off and on? And this is circuit breaker heater. And circuit breaker, let's power it up and feel... It will go first to defroster. I have it on, but it will take some time, I guess. Yeah. And time to switch tanks. So let's do the right one. To auxiliary, observe 
fuel flow ok everything looks good now the left one auxiliary observe fuel flow and I put the note on the inner we flew one hour outer one hour now the outer 31 gallons Bravo November will you continue pleasant heading? Uh, November 5, 5 Brown, November I confirm we would like to continue to Robin. Mm. Thank you. The next thing I'm gonna do after fuel, after changing fuel tanks is change the fuel quantity indicator switch which is here and it will change indications on our gauge. That's how it works, not automatically like in Navajo for example, but also doable. We were given your frequency by Brussels uh, information. Hi, Roger, contact Luxembourg approach, 120885. 120885 approach, November Bravo, November, talk to you later. Luxembourg approach, good morning, November 5, 5 Bravo, November, level 9 or 5 to Robin. Luxembourg approach, good morning, November 5, 5 Bravo, November, level 9 or 5 to Robin, uh, request clearance to transit. November 55 Bravo November, hello Luxembourg approach, radar contact to clear to cross uh, Luxembourg TMA at flight level 905, 19 VFR. Uh, copy it, maintain VFR, clear to cross uh, Luxembourg TMA at 905, November Bravo November, thanks. This is small part where we transit through Luxembourg, yeah. literally 900 miles of transit. Auto-scopy, then I'll ask uh, the 6 car with snipe, look. RNP Zulu, runway 08, but we do visual, anyways, yeah. Descending, Get, got a bit cold still, <laughs> the heater won't, wouldn't work. We didn't reach to use the heater, we decided to get dressed a little bit. So yeah, through the blanket. <laughs> and it's time to switch back to main tanks. Left is changed, now change and right, main, main. Fuel pressure is here. November, bravo, November, contact Mill uh, Tower 118550, Tower November, bravo, November, what? 118.56, contact 118.550. 550, got it. down and checked and flap set to full and reduce in power then Nice landing. Danke. <laughs> Welcome to Lille. To the Monde. On the ground, November, Bravo, November. November, Bravo, November, make a 180 and then vacate first on your right angle 4. 180 first on my right angle 4, November, Bravo, November. So I have uh, another pilot with me, he needs to fly that Mushkitir which is on uh, apron Papa. Uh, can I taxi there, drop him off and continue to refueling station? Roger, no problem. So in this case, first right, first left to the apron Charlie. You can drop off your uh, pilot and then you call me back to go to the apron. Uh, that's copied. So continue straight to apron Charlie and then we'll call you for further taxi. November, Bravo November. Perfect!
Uh, yeah, it's good to ask why. Right. <laughs> uh, second? On your right, right now. To the right and next left, November, Bravo, November. To the right, there is no problem, and you can park just on the right hand side of the right aircraft. Ah, okay, that's copy, thank you. No, I'm, uh, brown, I'm... That's the one I'm picking up. I see you around. I'm with you. I see you around. Okay, we continue. Okay, Tower, thank you very much. So now I can continue taxi via uh, Papa. Four and then with the runway zero one to the fueling station. Confirm. It was a very interesting experience for me. November 5, five uh, Bravo November. Go ahead. Uh, I only have your flight plan uh, from Eco Delta, Quebec, November to uh, Lille, and I don't have uh, your return. Copy, that's interesting. I filed like uh, 25 minutes ago. Uh, what should I do about that? Just how can I assist? It's uh, November 5, five Bravo November, uh, correct? I confirm November 5, five Bravo November. November 5, 5, Bravo November, is that a VFR flight plan? I confirm VFR, November, Bravo November. Interesting, I did file a flight plan. Sometimes it doesn't reach the destination very quickly. Let's wait a little bit. November 5, 5, Bravo November, your um, destination is Echo Golf Charlie Sierra? Confirm Echo Golf Charlie Sierra, November, Bravo November. Roger, so that's okay. Uh, startup approved and report uh, ready to taxi. Thank you, startup approved. We'll call you for taxi now. So, a bit of waiting didn't take long. Bonjour! Sometimes it's not an easy job, right? To refuse. Been waiting a while for British guys to make the GR4 for me because for some reason when I do this it shows that the you that the airport is located in Hungary. I have no idea how come you write the name, British ICAO code, but it says Hungary. No idea. Anyways, everything is good for now. Walk around completed and let's roll. Six one five six startup approved November five five Bravo November. Okay, startup approved. Bravo November with you. A request runway one nine or for departure if possible and point November. Uh, well done, no problem. Taxi holding point to Papa five and uh, contact me on Papa five on tower frequency one one eight five five. Uh, taxi to Papa five. Call you on one one eight eight five five November. Bravo November. November Bravo November. Correction, you're on Echo Apron, uh, correct? I confirm on Echo Apron, November, Bravo, November. So taxi holding point Echo, runway 19 and report ready on tower frequency. Uh, taxi holding point Echo will call you uh, 118550, November, Bravo, November. Okay, let's taxi. Left clear, right is clear, parking brake goes off, taxi light on. Our frequency one one eight five five zero. 
I'm just cooling down my iPad and everything is quite quite hot. And calling tower. Tower November 5, five Bravo November, holding shot at echo with you on 11550 one and ready for departure. November 55 five Bravo November, what will be your cruise altitude and your exit point, please? Expecting leave via point November and cruising altitude 9500 feet. November Bravo November. Copy the Bravo November from Echo, line up on way one liner, clear for takeoff, wind 18 degrees, one to maximum 16 knots. Clear for takeoff, runway one niner from Echo November 55, Bravo November. Okay, we are good to go. This has to be closed for takeoff and landing. That's exactly what we want to do. Left is clear, right is clear, strobe lights are on. Mixture full reach. Didn't see. November 55 Bravo November, contact Lille 120 decimal 275. Au revoir. 20275 to Lille November Bravo November. Merci beaucoup. 20275. Lille, good day again. November 55 Bravo November are climbing 9500 feet to point November, squawking 6100. Bonjour, number 55, Bravo November, have got your details, report leaving the zone. We'll call you leaving your airspace, November, Bravo November. And Bravo November, for information, the Echo Bravo Romeo 24 area is active, so please avoid it by the south. Echo Bravo Romeo 24 active, copied, we'll check and come back to you just for confirmation, November, Bravo November. Oscar, Oscar, call Juliet Romeo, Squawk 7000 and uh, Brussels information 126. When you are flying at low speeds, in climb it's dangerous to deviate, you know, the speed is going down, then you have to check some zone, so it's quite intense. to descend. It makes sense to check weather in Doncaster, just to understand what should I expect in this small airfield where there is no weather reporting. And also I have the reception and the owner of the aeroplane told me that it's runway 27, which also makes sense. Gather information as much as you can. Battery is off. Safely delivered. Well done. 
Hello, Mark. I'm Constantine. I'm making a YouTube vlog. Is it okay with you? Constantine. Well done. Well Constantine. Done. Bird is at its home. Yeah. 